Huh? How are you? Fantastic. That's good. Fantastic. It seems like the last two games, uh, it's been pretty much followed a pattern of, of Rodney, Sebo back and forth on the drives. Just kind of what are you looking for in alternating those two guys? Is there an element of preservation with Rodney to maybe not ride him too far? Or just what are you trying to get with going back and forth between the two? Well, here's what, here's what I'll say. You know, everything we do, we, we evaluate. And uh, we look at it closely, and so nothing's off the table. You know, we look at it, we'll make adjustments, and uh, those guys have played well. Um, but, you know, when you get in the situation we're in now, we're looking to see each person, each room, who can do more, who can do what they're supposed to do better. So we evaluate that stuff, and, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Roger, looking at North Carolina's defense, would you say they made some big improvements on that side of the ball, especially against the run this year? I'd say they're real big, for sure. Yeah, they've, they've, they're better. They're better. Um, they're not an overly complicated defense, so uh, it allows their guys to play fast, and they're talented. So, uh, you know, they look like the typical North Carolina defense. And uh, we got, we have, we got a big challenge in front of us to score some points. We know their offense can score points. And we got to score some points, points this week. And in addition to scoring points, I mean, I have to assume time of possession is going to be pretty important this week as well. Well, scoring points is more important yeah. than time of possession. We've got, yeah. we got to get the ball in the end zone. Yeah. Well, Andre, from that standpoint, what's missing offensively? Well, you know, one of the things we've got to do again, uh, you know, we're mature. We've got some guys that have a, a good mentality on offense. And we look at every position. We look at every room. And we don't point the finger. We say, what can I do better? How can I be in more detail? And that's what we've got to do. We've got to be more detailed. We've got, to, we've got to do more. While the passing game is struggling, how are you seeing your running backs contribute in pass protection and uh, presenting themselves as options for Phil? Just like everything else, we've got to get better. We've got to do more. Uh, you know, the good news is we have not had any, any situations where we were mis-ID'd and let a guy run through. Well, we've got to block better. You know, we, our quarterback has to feel comfortable in the pocket <clears throat> and we're part of that. And the other thing is, when you get in the passing game, uh, we got to make plays and not just routine plays. Anybody here can catch a ball right in their hands. We got to make the, uh, you know, the play that's not routine. And that goes for every position. Defense, the, the defense is loading the box against the run is nothing new. But if Cincinnati and West Virginia gone over the top a little bit as far as putting an extra guy down, down close? It's just typical. You know, uh, defenses match personnel normally. You, get, you put big people in the game, they put big people in the game, so that's, that's nothing unusual. Pats, is it Daniel kind of playing a, a third down back role? What makes him a good fit for that? <clears throat> Daniel's really smart. Um, the last two weeks, it was um, a scenario where some of the third down pressures were a little bit exotic. And so Daniel does a really good job of sorting it out, communicating with the line, and so that's why he was there. He's done, he's done a good job, yeah. When I look at Rodney, I look at a guy that looks like a power runner. He looks like a guy that he's a guy with you. The more you feed him, the more he wears down a defense. Does it take away from his ability to do that when you guys are splitting carries, or is that something that can still be a fact of the game if you guys are just in better positions to run the ball later? What, what, let me ask you this. What makes you say that, that Rodney's a power back? Can wear he's never been a guy who's had 20 carries in a game. True, but what I've seen him in the, come in the late part of games when Izzy was the top running back, right. I've, I've seen him. I've seen him continue to right. bowl people over. That's so did Izzy wear out the offense, the defense, or did Rodney wear out the defense? It's a good question. Yeah. So hey, here's the deal: um, all the guys in my room are capable. Just like everything else, we evaluate and go, how can we do this better? Um, how can we put our team in a better position to win? So all those things are evaluated, and we'll make all the necessary adjustments to make that happen. Did Rodney not wear out the defense last year against Syracuse? I, I can't even remember the Syracuse okay. game. Okay. That was this game he started. He ran for like 120 yards. I can't even remember the Syracuse game. In fact, I'm thinking about North Carolina, not Syracuse. Understandable. Yeah. I was just asking. What if he loads the box like that, Andre? What, what do you do as a, as a coach? What, 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 what Here's the thing. When they load the box and you're running the ball, the defense has no layers. So now if you crack a run, there's no layers. Uh, some of the things you can do is run action pass um, and pass them all. There's lots of options. There's lots of options. And we've utilized some of those options. We just, for one reason or another, we're just a hair off. And we're working vigorously to get that corrected. So when you say hair off, you feel like you guys are just, you're real close. Every room can, contributes. 
the coaches contribute. Maybe we call the play it's not a good play. Maybe the tackle's a step off. Maybe the back didn't see it. Maybe the receiver's a step off. Quarter, it's a lot of things. And so I know from the standpoint of the people in the stands and the people that are watching TV, it's easy to point the finger at what they think the problem may be. But we've got issues where we just all have to be on the same page and all have to do more. Caleb's taken a lot of steps, I feel like, in the last couple weeks as a punter. What have you seen from him that's allowed him to become such a productive weapon on fourth down? It's just it's time. I meant uh, he hadn't punted much, and the more he punts and the more he gets comfortable back there, the better he'll be. Who has impressed you on punt coverage and kickoff coverage so far? Well, uh, our, our gunners can really run. And when you protect the punter and he can get the ball high up in the air, then there's no punts to cover, you know, and that's our goal, fix it where there's no punts to cover. We're trying to create fair catches. And so uh, the, the effort's been fantastic. Uh, we got some fast guys. I don't know. I, I guess it'll be a good foot race. I don't know who's the fastest, but they, we got some guys that can run. What, uh, what do you like that Kenny Johnson gives you in the return game? Kenny can run. You, know, you can't teach a guy how to run fast. And the, he's just like Junko. The more he does it, the better he sees it. And uh, he's a young guy. He's not playing a ton of plays, so he's not worn out or beat up. So he's fresh when he goes in the game. And he's going to make more plays as, as we go down the road. You watch all offense and obviously special teams. But I mean, him as a freshman, has he impressed you with his maturity and, and how he's come in? And yeah, he I mean, he's, he's never on the list. He's always on time. He's always got a smile on his face. He's always coming by. He's probably in my office right now. Uh, coming by to see what he can do more. So, those, though, you can win with those guys.